Okay, today we're going to be doing the second chest stretch for thoracic outlet syndrome. What we want to do here is um, go ahead and find a position on the wall, bringing my arm up, placing it at a 90, my elbow at a 90 degree angle, okay? Um, I can go higher, but if I have impingement syndrome at the front of the shoulder, like it hurts to cross your arm, you feel pain here, if you raise your arm up and you feel pain on the front of your shoulder, don't go any higher than 90. You can go ahead and drop it a few degrees below that uh, for this stretch. But what I'm doing here is I bring my arm against a wall, make sure it's nice and secure. Now I'm not rotating again like this, I'm rotating my arm downward. This is arm against the wall, chest up, chest up nice and straight, and I am going to turn away from my arm. I'm rotating away from it in order to stretch the pectorals and provide length. I will really fit, actually feel really quite a bit at the uh, insertion point in the arm. So I'm going to hold that stretch for 12 to 15 seconds and release. Go ahead and shake it out and again wait a few seconds bring your arm back up. I may want to try a little bit lower position and again chest always out. I'm not here leaning forward. I'm chest up because I really want to focus on this pectoral. I'm rotating away from my body looking away over that shoulder and stretching the pectoral muscle out in order to provide adequate length. The longer that we can make this the less pressure it's going to have on the front of the shoulder and the brachial plexus. And then of course you would follow this up with particular uh, back and shoulder exercises to counteract uh, the stretching that you just did. And we will um, go ahead and show those here in the next few videos.